Hey everyone, it's Lizzie. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to do this super pretty red carpet look. It's perfect for that special occasion you have coming up and isn't time consuming at all. So, let's get gorgeous! So here I am just starting out with a clean face and now I'm going to tame my mane and pull my hair back. So now that my hair is pulled back, I'm going to put some moisturizer on, and this certain moisturizer is Clarity from the Good Medicine Co. It's been my favorite ever since I've gotten it, and it works incredibly. And now grab your under eye cream and your beauty blender, a makeup artist's best friend, because it blends everything together, and just go ahead and blend that under your eyes so you can get rid of all of those dark circles. And now grab your foundation, and might I remind you, I'm on vacation and in a hotel room right now, so I didn't bring my full-on foundation thing because you can't bring anything more than three ounces on the plane. But go ahead and just put this all over your face and kind of make yourself look like a panda a little bit. Uh, I don't know, just make all different patterns and shapes all over your face, and eventually we will blend this all together with the Beauty Blender. And now go ahead and blend everything together with your beauty blender for a flawless look. And now once everything is blended together, grab a concealer and conceal all of your imperfections. After you've done that and blended it, go ahead and move on to the contour stage and grab sort of a darker contour than usual because we are going for a red carpet look. So in this case, I'm choosing the Chocolate Soleil by Too Faced. And after you have put the contour on, don't you worry, we are not leaving it like this. We will blend it together with the Beauty Blender to make it all look very natural. Also add some of the contour to the top corners of your face and to the sides of your nose just to bring out the natural shape of your face. And then go ahead and blend that together. And now we get to move on to my favorite part, the brows. I believe however you shape your brows, it really defines your face differently. And this I'm using the Wet n Wild palette just to bring definition to the brows and really define my arches. And once your brows are looking on fleek, go ahead and clean them up just a tiny bit in the front corners and fill them in over on the sides. Next, I'm using NYX Control Freak Eyebrow Gel. Now, this will literally act as hairspray for your eyebrows to keep them in place so they don't move when you're partying or whatever occasion you're going to. Next, I'm moving on to powder, and I'm using Too Faced's powder in Fair, and I really like this powder because it's really natural. And I also got the Too Faced Kabuki brush, and I really like this one because it's retractable, as my face just said. And I'm just going to apply this powder all over my face in a circular motion just to really get it in all of those creaks and crevices of my face. Next, I'm moving on to, you guessed it, eyes. And what I'm doing with this is I'm getting a nude palette, and I'm getting sort of a peachy chalk color to put on my eyes. And I'm also going to put a little bit of glitter on there as well, just because we're going for a red carpet look. And I'll show you the colors I'm using in just a few seconds. And now on to the hardest part, which is the eyeliner. And I personally never get this right the first time because this is super difficult because you have to get it perfectly precise. And I am always going back and cleaning things up with makeup wipes. And you can see I completely fail in the beginning with a little sad face. <laughs> but I always go back and clean things up later just so I can have it already dry and a little bit easier to take off. 
And once you've completed one eye, you must move on to the second one. Now, is it just me, or every time you try to match the wings, one is always higher or thicker? It's just literally impossible, so it takes me a while to completely get it. And as I said, I never get this right the first time, so makeup wipes are your best friend. And once you finally got that right, do your happy dance because you have successfully done wing eyeliner correctly. Give yourself a pat on the back. And now I'm just going to use some Tarte mascara and blink this on just a few times just to give my eyelashes just a little bit more volume. And now on to cheeks. And I am using Too Faced's Pink peachy kind of blush and I really like this one because it's not super noticeable and at the same time just gives your face a natural flushed look. And I'm also using my flat buki makeup brush and as you can see I completely put on way too much in the beginning so I'm gonna have to go back and dull that down a lot. And once you've done your cheeks go ahead and move on to lips and I chose this super cute color from Tarte and it's sort of a pinkish mauve color and I really like it. I don't know about you, but I think it's really cool and it really kind of presents the whole red carpet look. So tell me what you think. And now I'm taking some concealer and just sort of cleaning up the edges just so it can be a little bit more sleek and little have a little bit more perfection. And once you're done with lips, go ahead and add a setting spray, just so your makeup can stay on much longer. And once you're done with that, pull your hair down and rock your makeup look. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. You all rock. And I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, and I will have more to come soon. Thanks so much!